Okay. Good morning, everyone. Good morning and welcome. Whoops. Hang on. My microphone looks... One second. Just going to adjust the microphone just a teeny weeny bit. I think I turned it down while doing some audio recording last night. One moment. So, hi. Uh, good morning, everyone. Welcome to your Tuesday, wherever you are in the world right now. I hope you're okay. Um, over here, what's going on? Um, I'm continuing work on the latest YouTube project on its fifth week of work. Thank you, Sierra. Thank you for doing that, Sierra. And Sevilla and your boy Perkins and Met Oshi. Thank you, all of you. I'm continuing work on the latest YouTube project on its fifth week. That project is a video essay for a game, or about a game, called The Forest from 2014. Uh, what I'm doing with the video essay is I'm kind of uh, doing a, a, a post-playthrough digest, a, a sort of breakdown of the uh, of what was an extremely weird playthrough, and I just wanted to talk about it rather than just let it slip into um, <laughs> slip into obscurity. Um, I hope it will be interesting. Um, fingers crossed. I've got the script, so being week five now, I've got a, a near complete script. And what I'm doing is I'm voicing it and um, cutting it. Although I am spending this week and next week just trying to make the first 30 minutes watchable. Sorry, pardon me. <clears throat> so sorry, too long didn't read. I'm trying to make the first 30 minutes of a video essay about survival, uh, open world survival stuff, specifically a game called The Forest. Uh, so it's going fine. Calling this an adventure game is a bit of a stretch. Is it, Philip? It said adventure game on its on the Wikipedia page for it. Uh, I must admit, it's kind of it's 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 been sitting in my Steam library. I don't really know much about this. Sorry. Um, I heard it was good, and it just kind of sat in my Steam library until I spotted it this morning and went, Oh yeah, I bought that. I forgot about that. Thank you, Rocket Tom and Papa Buhiski, Gustav Vizner, Evoke Tom, Peely, and Sierra. Thank you. Right, okay. One second. Sorry, just sorting stuff out. Thank you, Gravesend. Okay. So, um, yeah, I don't really know what this is. Blind first impression. So, um, yeah. I only know the vague premise that we're apparently we're a firewatch officer at the Yellowstone National Park, which is in America, and um, that's it. That's all I know, apparently. So, um, right. Let's just get a new game then. Okay, what's this? Let's go. Ooh. Campo Santo presents the incorporation with Panic Incorporated. Boulder, Colorado, 1975. You see Julia. I do. I see Julia. She's about your age, late twenties, laughing with a well-dressed with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. Oh God, this is a mistake. Don't drool. Don't dribble. I'm drunk. Oh Jesus. <laughs> you, you're pretty. Oh God. Um, don't drool over yourself, man. Uh, so what's your, you know, major? You slur your word, you slur the word major, and it smells like cause. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says, and I'm a professor. Cool, you reply. What's yours, she asks. She sniffs the air. Toxicology? Was that a burn, you ask? She says definitely. Worried she hurts your feelings, she asks you if you want to split a cheeseburger. One week later, <laughs> you are Julia's boyfriend. <laughs> that was way easier than I remember. <laughs> Thank you, Rethius. Thank you very much, Rethius. <clears throat> OK. 
Okay. Uh, what's this? Sorry, where are we? Uh, is this still 1995? Am I still drunk? Probably. Backpack pickup. Okay. Uh, okay. Is this my car? I hope so. Trunk door, get in. <laughs> That's not going to be there when you arrive. <laughs> ah, you date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. You're both alcoholics. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. Okay. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it uh, with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. Um... Well, beagles are cute. Can we not get them both? You pick up the beagle and she names him Bucket. You adopt the Shepherd and name him Mayhem. Can we not get both? I want both. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, be beagles are cute. Let's go with the beagle. Bucket the beagle. Bucket's a good dog, and a week later, you've totally forgotten about the other one. Oh. Julia loves him. You love him too. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so four years later, 1979. You talk out on the deck. It's summer. Uh, it's 9.30 in the evening, and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids? She asks. Okay. Ask this- yeah, answer this incredibly carefully. Kids? Question mark. Uh, they're not very smart. How- <laughs> or good at much. I'm saying if- Dude, she wasn't asking, what's your general opinion about kids? No, she's obviously... Okay. I'm saying if you and I have some. A couple of little idiots. Um... Oh shit. Uh... Oh shit. <laughs> I guess? Okay? One day? Why rush? I don't know. Fuck. I wasn't expecting this much pressure this early. <laughs> um, that would be pretty good. Good? Good. Mm. <clears throat> In that case, we should probably get married. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, yes, I would like that, I say. Uh, these kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. Mm-hmm. You say she's absolutely right. Note that I have no ability to disagree. See, just, okay. Okay, so that was 1979. Uh, okay. Uh, where are we then? Thoroughfare Trailhead. Do not forget to check in, no fireworks. Thoroughfare Trail is not recommended for inexperienced hikers. You're in their country. Learn to live with bears. Okay. Oh, I get it. Right, so immediately after the question of do you want kids, he's driven to the most remote place he can think of. Gotcha. Yeah, you go, man. You grab that emergency duffel bag and you drive. Okay, one year later, 1980. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. 
She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. Really? Uh, you ignore her, you get mad. Okay. I don't want to get mad. Okay. You don't uh, touch each other all night. The next day you feel guilty for being so angry and ask her, ask her about her evening. She says it was great. You hold onto a tiny, uh, onto a tiny pill of resentment. You make some coffee and go to work. One year later, Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants uh, from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man. You frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. <laughs> I mean, technically you can do both. You can be frolicking and flexing. I, I, I flex like He-Man. You look... <laughs> of course, obviously. Yeah, of course I look awesome. Duh. Whoop. Okay. Um, for those just joining, you're watching Firewatch. It's an adventure game about a man experiencing a midlife crisis, I think. Running off into the forest. Wait, did I leave my backpack in the car? No, I think it's on me. Is that my backpack or just my belt? Thank you, Knir Knirps and Tessa. Thank you both. Two Forks Fire Lookout. Eight more miles. Okay. Space bar to climb over the obstruction. <laughs> So it's the sunset. 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from far away places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Bucket gets kicked. Oh! What the fuck? Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she's stressed. You confront the attacker. You're damn right I beat his goddamn face in. You kick a dog? Who kicks a dog? Your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. Game is a bit heavier than I expected. Uh, plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale, Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job, associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Yeah, it seems over, dude. Convince her not to take the job. Agree if she commutes back and forth. Dude, she's going, man. Just, you gotta let her go. Uh, yeah, 2,000 miles, dude, it's, yeah, it's over. Um, you can't ask her to commute 2,000 miles. That's absurd. Uh, yeah, there's no option to just let her go. I suppose option two is to just let her go. Okay. Because she's going to presumably disagree, and rightly so. You'll ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if that's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. Oh, damn, did... no. You don't make her do that. Julia is sent home from Yale on 1985 uh, on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. Oh no. She was found crying in the stairwell. Okay, you make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. Yeah. 
maybe. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia may be suffering from early onset dementia. Fuck. She's 41. You both decide to keep it secret. That sucks. Dementia. It's horrible. Okay. <laughs> oh. Bucket is getting older. Julia comments that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to the university. 1987. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought back home by the police. She's devastated. She's sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days later, you get the Julia... You get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family they're crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. 1988. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple of months. That sucks. You decide to move her into a full-time care facility or you're determined to take care of her by yourself. Matter. So I presume this is after. Sorry, um, does it kill you, dementia, over time? does yeah so I'm guessing we're looking at present aren't we after she's gone oh hello okay it's impossibly hard the worst is when you get mad at her like she when she tries to cook her own food you can't do anything without her and she can't do anything without you when she goes to sleep, you stay up a few hours, drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter, drinking then too. You start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. Uh, don't put a chair in front of the bedroom door, she'll panic. Fuck. This is heavy shit. Um... I'm not going to do the former, that seems... You go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home and in bed by one in the morning a couple of nights a week. You look forward to those nights. Thank you, Jan. One night you're stopped at a DUI checkpoint. You blow a point ten and are taken to jail for the night. You drank drive, fuck. You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister-in-law, Susan. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. Then they tell you Julia's coming to live with them. You don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few, a few weeks go by. Summer is coming, and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. I 
Let's see. Turn on the power. Map table. <clears throat> Flora of the Shoshon poster. Generator switch. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Hello? Oh. Who's that? Two Forks Tower, this is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. Uh, hold left shift to activate the radio. Oh, uh, slight problem. I might have spilt cider on my keyboard a few weeks ago, and the left shift button doesn't do anything. Um, the right shift button doesn't work. Can I rebind that? One second? <laughs> uh, key bindings. Let's have a look. Left shift, there we go, or left control. I'll just do left control. Right. Yeah, sorry, one moment. Okay, why is there a toaster on the floor? In case I need floor toast, obviously. Okay, one second. Uh, yes indeed, I know nothing, Marba. So sorry, who was that? Delilah? Was it, did it say Delilah? Oh, I see. Hold it down, then press the uh, release left shift. Um, I see. Hello? Oh, he is voice. this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? <laughs> That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine. Then, can I... sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Oh, I see. Okay. Hang on a minute. Just going to fiddle. Just going to turn it up just a smidge. Maybe music down, little voices up. There we go. Uh, you've killed three ex-husbands. You're rebelling against your mum. Nobody back home can stand you. <laughs> Dude, is this your boss? You're just going to wait oh. me out on this? Ugh, oh. Fine. But I'm going to take a second here and have a guess about you. Let's see. I don't know anything about you, but nine times out of ten, folks out here simply got dumped. Huh, is that it? Close? Good night. <laughs> Good night. Welcome to the job. Yeah. Day one. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> You probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Hmm. She can, sorry, she can what? She can see me at my desk? Is there a camera on me? Answer radio call. Pick up radio. Sorry, I guess I slept in. Oh, wait, I don't need to because he's Hey, voice. sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Whew. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? 
Uh, yes. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Hmm? Are those fucking fireworks? Oh, yeah. Someone's letting off fireworks. Uh, end use the compass. There we go. Direct west. I need you to confirm. Do you see them? Yeah. Oh. Whoa. That's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Okay. Uh, like kick the shit out of them? Write them a ticket? Do I write him a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. Well? Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Really? Really? Secure. Shut up. <laughs> uh, sorry. Rope? She said rope? Uh, cookbook. Oh, I like the attention to detail. Oh, I see. You can pick things up. So this was Julia. Ah, uh, I see. My character looks a bit like social. Pine cone. Why do I have a pine cone? Yes, that's a that's a pine cone. Um, sorry. What did she say about the rope? Thermos, glass cleaner. <laughs> rope is on the way. All right. Whoops. Shit. There we go. Is the voice a bit too loud? Is it? Or shall I... So N for the compass. That way. M to read the map. I see. That's kind of cool. So Wes. Okay. Rope's on the way. Did I miss something at the bottom of the tower? I see. Okay. Yeah, what the fuck? Someone's setting off fireworks in the middle of a national park in America? Seems a bit silly. What if he starts some sort of fire? I assume it's a gender reveal thing. Space to hop over. There we go. I see. Do we not have like a bear spray or some shit? Supply cache open. I see. Okay. There we go. What's this then? Uh, map copy information. I like the attention to detail. Note. What does it say? Examine. Uh, okay. So it is 86. Okay. So Ron. Hey man, guy couldn't take it so I locked uh, up his lookout and uh, put some stuff in the box. Guy couldn't take it? Um, found one of those bars you liked hiking into the park, but uh, let's get fucked when I'm back. Right. Sorry? Who's Ron today? But I'm Henry, so... Okay. I'm gonna drop it. Take it. Um, grab the rope. Deal with whoever is setting up the fireworks. Setting off the fireworks. Oh, I see a granola bar. Got it. Uh, hold. Okay. Eat. Pine cone. Don't need it. 
fine. Just drop the shit on the floor. Or on the hedge. It's fine. Yeah, what the fuck? We're gonna we're gonna hang them? <laughs> just turn up and lynch like a family of five? Uh, hang on, so what's that information? The red lines, are they pathways? So either or, doesn't matter, just keep going this way. Okay. Uh, R to toggle jogging, there we go. So for those just joining the stream, I'm playing as a guy who's just started a job as a sentry in a national park, trying to stop tourists from doing stupid shit, I assume. And there appear to be tourists doing stupid shit. Fireworks. We're just down there. A shale slide. It's steep. So they're just around the corner to the right over there. What's that say? Jonesy Lake? Hang on. Yeah, they're just around there to the right. They might be on the shore of the Thunder Canyon. That looks way too steep, though. Hang on. Can we get up again safely if we go down? Ah, I see. Attach rope to the hook. Right. Space bar to repel. Okay. No, 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 oh, no, 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 no! Oh, dearie me. Oh, shit, the bed. Did you break anything? Report climbing accident. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. So hung shit, that means I can't get back up. Oh no. At least it's the morning, right? Port Meadow. Uh, hell of a nice camping spot. Uh, okay. It is a hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake. I haven't been down there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. Jonesy Lake. Hang on. Yeah. I see. There's a camp marker. Could that be them? Not sure to only. I'm playing as a man called Henry, who's um, having to... There, the campsite. Who's having to deal with a lot right now. Uh, a girlfriend. Don't, not sure if they were married, but uh, yeah. Who had dementia and is trying to get away after an incident with the police. Beer cans. Oh god. Hope they're not drunk. They're just throwing them all over the floor for. Fucking hell. Fuck. You know what? Fuck it. I'm not the maid. <laughs> I see. Beer can. Radio. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. What's that sound? Music? Well, they can't be far. They left their backpacks here. Well, they left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? Okay, gonna stomp it out. Can I stomp it out? 
It's a really half-assed attempt to stomp it out there. Whiskey as well. Oh shit, ferret or Irish. We left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. Hmm. Probably don't need this in my life right now. Yeah. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. Okay. Oh, no. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Well, uh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. Great. Drunk skinny dippers. Oh, God. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Uh, there are, uh, panties. There are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why? Because you're 12? <laughs> Thank you, uh, Orange Nikkei. Thank you very much. Oh, hang on. There's a... Uh, ooh. Yes? Uh, there are two naked women. <laughs> uh, nothing. Forget it. If you say so. Found them in the lake. Skinny dipping. Yeah. Is that a guy over there? Oh boy. Enjoy dealing with that. Oh shit. How's the radio? So I made you the Oh stereo! Oh hey, put that down. Seriously, it was expensive. Fucking cool it with the fireworks. Chelsea, <laughs> it's my boombox. Can we go? Let's just run to the other side of the lake or something. Ew, totally. You're gross. You're just some sad man out in the woods. <laughs> this is a bit unnecessarily mean. Find a way back to two forks to look out. Okay, well, we've done what we need to do. Hey, that go okay? <laughs> it's done. Well, that's ominous. Hopefully, there won't be any more trouble. Good. Thanks for going down there. Wait, are they like. They're like bears and shit. Like, are they gonna be safe? Okay. Alright, let's get back. Well, if they get murdered, it's their own damn fault. They get eaten by a bear. Um, wait, hang on. So this isn't the right way, or is it? Cave, cache. There's another cache. I guess I've got to find a replacement rope. Do I go down Thunder Canyon then? Oh, okay. We'll go this way, find the replacement cache, get the rope. Okay. So for those just joining, you're looking at a, yeah, a story adventure type game where Henry, the guy that I'm playing as, has a bit of an alcohol problem and um, was the carer to a very ill wife or girlfriend. He's out here to get away. We're in... Is it Colorado? Where is Yellowstone? Sorry. Thank you, Magda. Thank you very much, Magda. So what is it? Sorry, Yellowstone. It's, um... Sorry, my American geography isn't amazing. Uh... That's the... Yeah, sorry, that's the super volcano, isn't it? It's like a caldera? The one with the, all, all the Native Americans. Uh, yeah, 
quite a bit more to further to go. Uh, put that away. Keep moving this way. So, I have a bit of a confession to make. Oh, God. What is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. What's that? It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. So she was drunk as well. <laughs> I wonder if that's her damage. Thank you, Mr. Fat Cat. Thank you for thank you very much. Hmm. The cash should be just up ahead. Grab the rope. Uh, not sure what to do after. Oh, hang on a minute. Is that a is that a climby trail? I think. Good. We can get back to the lookout point that way. Oh shit. Nearby yeah, storm. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad. Right, because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. Oh, great. Uh, not sure I have much of a choice. Yeah, I'm not sure I got a lot of choice in getting struck down. Especially not with your electric personality. Oh, I'm just gonna let her have that one. <laughs> So that's Delilah for those just joining. She, what did she say? She was at Thoro something? Thoroughfare? She said she could see me as well. Is that marked on the map, I wonder? Thoro something. Oh, I see. To the Thoroughfare trailhead. So I guess she can see me. She's on the east side of the map, just not marked. Maybe I can see her watchtower. Here's the cache. Oh shit, is that a... Secure. Copy information. Uh, defense... Torch. Ah. Oh. Ah! Horn. Okay. They shed these, don't they? Right? At the end of the mating season, they drop them. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, wait, sorry, I can talk to Delilah about it. Uh, yeah, I get the sense that not everything in here is useful. In the boxes? Why's that? I don't really know what I'll do with the deer horn. Firstly, they're called antlers, and secondly, Stay out here long enough, and you'll get creative. Uh... Do you? Um, okay. What? What? What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. Uh, yeah. Uh... Play with the cave's echo. Hello! Wait, do bears go in caves? Oh! <laughs> oh, 
What was this? Caves closed. For access key available at ra sorry, key available at the ranger station Dubois, Wyoming. Looks locked. Whoops. <laughs> I love the attention to detail. This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so... Maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, sorry, Hank. Uh, yeah, which way does this go? That goes directly south. Okay. Right, never mind. Sorry, am I deafening people with the smashing in my hand? Sorry. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so follow the trail and uh, we should make it back. No problem. Lookout point is just above. Oh, hello. Hello! There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's... outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's 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 madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. <laughs> it's probably just a tourist. Henry's right though. Outside is creepy. Gotta go food shopping later, it's gonna be horrible. Look at the sunset. Oh, yeah. Cool. Hmm. Okay. Space bar to jump. So where's that dude sheltering then? Which way do we go? Hang on. Uh, let's go this way. I assume he's probably got a camp over there. We'll leave him alone. Right. Oh, look. That's her watchtower, isn't it? Which direction is that? I see. So she's direct north. Thoroughfare Tower. So I'm here. Two Forks Lookout. She's... To the thoroughfare lookout. There she is. She's she's over there then. Yeah. Hey, you keep your lights on at night. I'm doing a crossword puzzle. I, I do a lot of crossword puzzles. Hmm. Thank you, spawns a lot. Thank you very much, spawns a lot. What's this game about? I seem to be playing as a gentleman who's working as a lookout in a national park in America. A place called Yellowstone. Full of naked teenagers going skinny dipping and men with flashlights. And also alcoholics. Right. There we go. Whoop. <laughs> oh shit. Oh bugger. This guy's a bit of a klutz. Uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the black path. Um, it was backbreaking, but, you know, anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. Right. 
Okay, so we can get down the path again, presumably because I've knocked down the sign. Let's get back into the tower. So I presume the towers are marked for tourists, so if they get in trouble, they can come here? Uh, what's that, sorry? Thoroughfare Fire Lookout, 6.2 miles to the north. Beartooth, 1.3 miles. Uh, Beartooth? I see, Beartooth Point. Okay. The generator, some distance away from the watchtower. Ah, oh, the shitter. An old baseball. Huh. Um, so it's uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. I didn't need to know that, Delilah. What's this? Ah. Oh, Jesus. Okay. You know, I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forrest Burns. Henry, as an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. Yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. He inspired me to spend the bulk of my 30s keeping the wilderness safe. A shrink would have a field day with you. Uh, thanks, Mom. <laughs> what kind of name is Forrest Burns anyway? Yeah. Well, that would be a pun, Hank. A glorious pun. I went to junior high with a guy named Royal Butts. Royal? Butts. <laughs> I didn't think anyone had been named Royal since the 1850s. Well, Royal's mom, Flo, was a bit of a trendsetter. Flo Butts? Oh, man, that's even worse. Yeah, well, it's still better than Forrest Burns. Yeah. It's the, it's the lack of eyeballs that make, it makes it creepy. Hang on. Scare the shit out of someone at night when they come for a crap. Right. Let's get inside before it starts pissing it down. So, for those just joining, we just spoke to two teenagers skinny dipping and using fireworks. And also we saw some other tourists with a torch on the way back up the trail. Wait, what? Uh, what can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell? You should get inside. Fuck me. I don't know. Have thieves been in the tower? Are his belongings nicked? Oh, oh, come on. Oh, for fuck's sake. Somebody's gone and nicked you, haven't they? Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. God damn it. Broken window as well. Gotta board that up before it gets fucking wet. Hang on. Broken glass. Flip the light switch. At least the light bulb wasn't shattered. That would suck if it was. Okay, I put in a oh. call. Yeah, they've gone through the fucking cupboards. Okay, thanks. Do you have any idea who would have done this? Well, no, presumably not the girls. Uh, there was that other dude? Maybe that guy I saw in the canyon, but I don't know why the fuck he'd want to mess with my stuff. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own and question him if they find him. <sighs> I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts? Great. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since... I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. 
We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Uh, yeah, I don't. <laughs> Just tell me where to find a gun. Just point me to the Forest Service weapons cache and I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. Yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun was kind of a bad idea. Grenades? I'll see what I can do. <laughs> well, bugger. Uh -uh. Wait, sorry, they don't have guns? It's America. Doesn't everyone have guns? Wake up! Shit. We gotta board hey, that wake up. up. Hmm? What? Okay. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. <sighs> Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Hmm, great. Uh. There's no backup? The backup is the two-day hike out of here. So, that's a no? It's easier for me to send all the lookouts out to check the status of the wire in their areas. Yours is a good hike away. If you find any portion of it down, I can try to get a hold of a ranger and he'll bring someone in to fix it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. Hank? My name's not Hank. Uh, hey, I can see your tower. Suppose that means you can see me. Yeah, well enough. Can you see the wire? Can you see the communication wires from where you are? I can see the poles, but I have no idea if the wire is in good shape or not. They run a good distance up to a spot called Beartooth Point. You just need to walk along them all the way up there and make sure everything's in ship shape. What does she mean when she says a wire? Does she mean a phone line? Sorry. Thoroughfare Trail, Beartooth Point. Oh, I see. Dot, dot, dot on the map. Is that a telephone line? Okay, yeah, it's a telephone line. So it goes past her tower. Okay, so I've got to check the wire all the way down the trail. Uh, could have been knocked out by the wind. Tree fallen on it, maybe? Let's have a look. What are we de dealing with here? Ooh, thermos. Ooh. Uh, drop or examine? Nope. Drop it. Yeah, or you know, you could just put it back. The <laughs> uh, singular mind. Drop. <laughs> put it back. Try again. You know what to stack at the top. Or, you know, just fine, whatever. Glass cleaner. Mm. You're gonna throw this at the glass as well? Yeah, okay, right. Water jug. No, it's cleaned up at least. Yeah, what a bunch of bastards. They came in just look, looking for valuables, I assume. Okay. So that's, yeah, that's north, I assume. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's go check it out then. What's this, sorry? Soap. Put it back. There we go, that's how you do it. Right. Take forest burns with me. God, no. Can he not lock the door? I suppose it wouldn't matter much if the dude just broke the window. Okay. So for those just joining, I'm playing as Henry, and I'm a gentleman who is in the Yellowstone National Park on a new job as a fire watch officer. So I'm watching for forest fires and reporting them. I'm on my way this way because apparently the telephone line has a problem and we're going to go investigate at least the, the section next to my tower. Oh, we just leave it running. Ugh. Is 
his name not Henry? Are you sure? I wrote down Henry on my notes. Did I fuck up? Okay. Nice and gentle. other part of the trail? I see. Yeah, I didn't go down this way last time. Okay. Head down to the canyon from before. Okay. So wait, that dude didn't didn't have a camp over here? So he must have been the dude breaking into the tower. Who else was near the watchtower at that time? Maybe he was trying to head this way afterwards. Thank you, Eisenbrot. Thank you very much, Eisenbrot. And jump. Thank you, uh, fr Fritur? Conning? Thank you very much. Okay, we should be... I didn't go through the cave that time, did I? Wait, is that because the cave is here? Oop, cold morning fog. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Uh, hang on. Uh, oh shit. Um, uh, you know, um, I don't know. I used to just spend a lot of time with our dog, Bucket. Aw, that's a good name. He was a good dog. What type? A beagle. We got him from the pound. That's great. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Oh, past tense. Hey, oh. I don't think so. Why, have you? We should talk to him. Okay, me. good. No, I don't think he has any idea. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, Bucket's a cute name. You, um, you owned him with someone? Um, who was that? Who was who? I, I don't think he has any idea. What, what was that? Were you talking about me? Uh, what? You left your button pressed or something. Henry, that call was work. I was just talking to... Actually, it's not really your business. Why are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. Good. He is freaking out. I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit. Call me if it's important. I see. Ah, okay. That's cool. Maybe I should have just shut my mouth. Oh. Gap in the bushes. Hmm. So, we'll move from here through the thoroughfare trail. Alright. See if we can figure out what's wrong with the telephone line. Okay. You're very welcome, Zeppy Cone. I hope you're okay, Zeppy Cone. All the best you, Zeppy. Let's 
It's kind of cool. I like the... Uh, bit like a two-person play, isn't it? So just Delilah and Henry. This damn fog. Ah, there's the utility pole. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Okay. So where are we? We are there. I see. This is where it enters from the east side. Uh, adjacent regions. What's that? Sorry. Number five. Moss Peak. So it comes down from Moss Peak. All right. Red Top Thoroughfare. Okay. Right. Let's go this way then. Thank you, Fackles. Thank you very much, Fackles. Uh, oh, see, no, it's just a, just a shadow. Beartooth uh, Path and Thoroughfare Fire Lookout. 5.4 miles away. Thank you, Phone99Y. Thank you, Phone99. Thank you for doing that. Oh, look. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I, I thought it was a marking on the rock. Ah, an old outhouse. Yeah. Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean, I'm in the right area. Yeah, the wire runs quite a ways north. Just follow it up to the point that I mentioned. Uh, old notepad? What's this? Old notepad, examine. Refrain. I'm headed off... Sorry, I'm headed off to the old... Sorry, the old something. Uh, where the birds and the bees won't know me. Where men and the war don't exist no more. And there ain't no gallo, galo, to keep no score. I'm taking off for the woods to a place where there ain't no, don't know. Press Q. Q? What's Q? Oh. Ah. Thank you. I'm headed off to the old sh uh, Shoshone. Where the birds and the bees won't know me. Where the men and the war don't exist no more. And there ain't no gals to keep no score. I'm taking off for the woods to a place where there ain't no shawls. Don't need no books. I'll ponder the ponderosas. What? Don't need no lady. I'll marry the mariposas. I can't wait no time in getting there. I'll do 80 down 80 without a prayer. Don't need no gal. I'll spruce up for the spruces. Don't need no pal. I'll change my mood for the mooses. If you're wondering where my ass has been, uh, sorry, where my ass has been, ass been? I'll be cavorting with the aspens. Don't need no grass. I'll get altered among the alders. Don't need no mass. I'll grovel before the boulders. I'm headed off to old Shoshone, where the elk and the owls won't know me. Where there ain't no judges. Uh, okay. I don't know what this is. A song? I found an old notepad of, uh, I guess, songs. Someone was writing a song called Old Shoshone. Shoshone. Old Shoshone, oh, where God. the sky is blue Shit, how do and I the teens are new. Switch it off. Switch it off. Off button. Off button. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's just like that, except about ten times more depressing. Hmm. Okay. Also, hi there, Social. Social, this dude looks like you, by the way. This protagonist looks a lot like you. 
Uh, ZF Social is in the chat, everyone. Uh, okay. The cable looks all right. Ah, hello. Looks like it's been severed. Tree, maybe? Wind? And we found the problem. Where is that exactly? So that's a bit further on. Damn, that's going to be a bit of a bastard to fix. Okay. Any tourists in the area? Uh, what's the game about, uh, Pat Sugoi? Uh, we're playing as a Firewatch officer, so a guy who... What was that, sorry? Ah, Delilah's Tower. It's over there? Hang on. Oh yeah, so it is. Uh, we, we, so we work with other officers in watchtowers to keep watch over this national park in America. In a place called Colorado. Okay. Oh no. Oh, the bloody beer can. God damn it. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids. Uh, yeah, why do you think they'd be up here? Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Yeah, they didn't fucking... Oh, fuck. Yeah. Uh, Utility pole. So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out. But I'd rather it not come to that. We don't have satellite phones? Oh, of course not. It's 19... What is it? 80-something. It's my tower, isn't it? Yeah. It's direct south. That's my tower. And her one is... There. I'm quite close to her now. Oh, bloody kids. Fucking... Did they cut it? Tell me they didn't cut it. Look at this. Oh. Hang on. End of the wire. I see. Yeah, they fucking cut it. Fucking pricks. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. That's actually good to hear. I can send someone out to fix it. Good find. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. Mm. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. Oh, these idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Hmm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, ooh, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. <laughs> but I am going to need a raise. <sighs> don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Well, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. 
See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. Yeah. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Let's see. Yeah, it's the go to hell written on panties. Ah. God damn it. Yeah, panties. See? Great. They're upset that we nick their fireworks. Thank you, Donnie. What's the name of that girl? Chelsea? Uh. <laughs> well, they're having like one beer per fucking... Every 20 paces. She must be fucking shit-faced. Right. God damn it. Um, also, could you bear with me just one moment? I'm desperate for a wee-wee. I'll be back momentarily. Hang on. Okay. So, for those just joining then, um, yeah, our goddamn phone line has been severed by presumably a couple of goddamn drunken teenagers because we stole their fireworks. Well, confiscated their fireworks. They were setting them off in this national park, which is apparently illegal. Another one there. No, Josh, but if there's a story and I generally have to recount names. Uh, hang on a second. In front of me. Blue tacks to the wall. The names of the Outer Wilds um, alien characters, see? If I have to rapidly recall them in the middle of a live stream. Oh, hello, darling. One moment. What's this? Huh? What's this?
she's six years old, Rosselli. Rosselli? Yeah, she's getting on a bit, unfortunately. She's a sweetheart. Hang on a minute. But yeah, she's greying on me. And generally, sort of, she's lost much of the puppy energy that she had. Mm. Now she's a little cuddle bug. <laughs> uh, she's happy. Okay. Oh, hello. All right then. Sorry, one minute. Okay then. Let's see if we can get after them. see no more cans. Where are we? Find the teenagers. So cut the comm wire. There was a cache there that I did not access. Supply drop over there. Who knows where they could be. At least we're fairly close to uh, Delilah. Alright. Hi there Flux. Welcome indeed. Yeah, after we nicked their fireworks, they must have been moving through the area. They saw the comm tower and cut the connection. Hmm, what's that there? Ah, uh, they're backpacks. They must have a camp nearby, I think. Let's have a look. Two Forks Fire Lookout, that's where I came from. Jonesy Lake, supply drop that way. Find the teens. Supply drop, is that like water if someone gets in trouble? Yeah, it's their packs, isn't it, I think. A bit dangerous. No, wait. Is it? That's someone else's pack, not theirs. What's this? There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Ah. Uh, whose is this? Oh. What does it say? Uh, Brian Goodwin? Brian, oh, sorry, it says it in the middle of the screen. I was turning my head upside down to read it. I'm thick. Take. Oh, oh fuck's sake. Rope camera. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's, there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this, this uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Why wait, would... wait, who? Brian the bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. What do you mean? Ranger? Was he a ranger or something? Oh, no, no. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? No. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Uh, did they? 
Why? Where did they go? I don't know. I never really hit it off with old Ned. And, um, one day they were just gone. Sucks. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a Photodome employee. I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Is she sure they... I mean, they left without their pack? The kids' pack is here. Is she certain that they left? Did they not have an accident? What's that about? Where is that? Sorry. I can't get up there. Did they... Dr Shit. Yeah, did they both get killed or trapped? Wait. I see. Take a picture. 18 shots remaining. Uh, hold on to it for now. Whoopsie. I see. It's their climbing rope. So presumably this won't break on me. Okay. <sighs> oh. Okay. The girls' campfire, maybe? Directly south. Directly south? I see. In that area down there? Right. I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? Y you think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. So wait, are you not allowed to put fires at all in Yellowstone? Uh, thank you, Nad Naylor and Dan the Chef. Thank you very much. No, not at all. These damn goddamn teenagers. They think they're the main characters, so the rules don't apply to them, do they? Uh, what's this? Copy information. Oh, I should have checked that other cache, shouldn't I? Supply, what's that? Sorry. Okay. Someone's found a photo packet there. Look. Empty. What's this say? Examine. Uh, and then read. Dave, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that shit heel Steve. It's your man, Ron. I went to check out, uh, sorry, check out the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself more than usual for an LOS, so I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself, having himself in that hammock? What? I'm starting to think the Forest Service only picks the deranged and the perverted. Oh. Except for us, of course. We're the creme de la creme. Let's toast the Deb at the spot. Ron. Okay. Ron going out with Deb. Yep. Eh. Loose stone. <laughs> okay. Someone really wanted a stone. Ooh. Oh, wow. It's a fossilized dinosaur claw. Look at this. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. And maybe they're leaving me an entire creature, piece by piece. Cool. I used to have one of these. Well, not, not like a true fossil. It was just a cast. I, I bought it from a museum as a kid. I think it was an allosaur claw. Yeah. Looks just like that. Pretty cool. Hang on. Right. Let's go stop him. Hang on. 
So, okay, if I follow this all the way down, I presume that's where they are. Shouldn't be a problem. Also, looking at the time, folks, I do need to wrap this up fairly hey. soon. Whoop. Sorry about snapping at you earlier. Um, I thought about it, and... Yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. Plus, you're just out here in your own head. <laughs> Trust me, I know how it is. So... Did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but... <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. Wait, I don't mean that the way it sounds. I mean, I care about people, and I like companionship as much as the next person. But why does it have to come from the same person for your whole life? My Aunt Kathy was married to the same guy for four decades, and when he died, she found out he'd been having an affair with a real estate broker for 15 years. Whereas my Aunt Judy traveled the world dating artists uh. and musicians as she saw fit. Call me crazy, but I'd rather spend a week in bed with Sonny Bono than half a lifetime with some cheating stockbroker. I'm actually married. But you're here. Yeah. Um. She's sick, and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. So for those who didn't see the start, his wife has early onset dementia, which has apparently gotten much worse. And her pet sorry, her parents, I think, in Australia, have uh, taken her over to visit and care for her for a while. Oops, see. After uh, Henry got drunk and was arrested for drunk driving. What's this? A fence? Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Oh, uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence? A chain link fence? Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. That's weird. What? What? What do you mean? What? Hang on. Who are they keeping out of here? And why? Ah, uh, jeez. I don't know. Maybe it's biologists, you know? Well, they don't want people traipsing on their precious lichens. Okay. What's a lichen? Well, wouldn't you <laughs> lichen to know? Oh my god, goodbye. <laughs> I'll ask next time I talk to someone, but <laughs> that'll probably be a few days. What? How does she not know about a huge fucking fence? What does that mean anyway? Hang on. US code. Uh... Hang on. Uh, what's the story? Whoever without lawful authority or permission goes upon national forest land while it is closed to public pursuant to lawful regulation of the security of agriculture, shall be fined. Okay, so it's just a law trespassing on national forest lands. Okay, so it is what it says it is, no trespassing. Do you think those girls could be behind this fence? Uh, well, having once been an ordinary young woman, the last thing I would do is climb a fence, especially if I knew I was in trouble. I don't even know how I would get in. It's really strange that that's out there, by the way. Yeah, it's weird. It's weirder that she doesn't know that it's here. Surely she knows that it's here. Okay. Uh. So no, they were down there. Yeah, they, they were down here, or at least their campsite was. Thank you, Martinez. Thank you very much, Martinez. What does she have? She's got Alzheimer's. Like, um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? 
Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Devastating. Especially for her. You can understand. And for you. Anyway, everything she worked for was taken away, and that was it. Yeah. I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't, don't, don't even. I'm happy to listen. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. Hmm. Burnt tree? Where am I? Okay. A gorge down here. Mule Point. Is there camp this way? Yeah, there it is. Okay. So for those just joining, I'm trying to find the campsite of a bunch of teenagers who... I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Flapjack? Excuse me? Flapjack? You know, like a loser. A chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Flapjack? What? Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful! What? Thank you, Shimei. Okay, I presume they're up there. Okay. So she said scare them. Oh crap. No wait, just dust, it's fine. Uh Is it getting bigger? No. Where are they anyway? Hang on. Directly to the southwest. Yeah, wait a minute. Thunder Canyon. Are they beyond Thunder Canyon? Am I getting closer? Well, at least with the ropes now, I can get back quickly in a pinch. Should be simple. It's marked on the map. <sighs> right. Is it? March on the map. Oh, I see. Oh, that's quite some distance. God damn. Okay. I, I thought it was like here. Right. What's the best way then? Through Thunder Canyon, round the Jonesy Lake. That's where they were skinny dipping. Oh, I see. Have they gone and taken a, a canoe or something? I don't know. That's true. The cutout of Forest Burns might scare the shit out of them. <laughs> Could do that. <laughs> Just do some creepy shit or whatever. Okay, so we can so, get. How'd you meet? Met in a bar. Mm. The birthplace of modern romance. I walked over and asked her what her major was because I thought she was a student, not a prof. Smooth. That's me. I did make the first move, though. Aw, you were brave. I was drunk. Okay, so we go around there. Um, looking at the time, though, folks... 
probably a good idea if I pick this up again later. Sorry. Um, so, yeah, sorry guys. Um, I've got lots of work to do today. Still, thank you for watching. So this has been a bit of Firewatch, where I've taken up residence in the tower over here, I presume for a summer job. Two Forks Tower. Gotten in touch with Delilah on the radio up at the other tower to the north. And, um, yeah, we're having some kid trouble. Teenagers, it seems, leaving behind beer bottles, setting off fireworks, and they've just sabotaged the telephone line. So that's going to be a bit of a pain. We need to get that fixed. Right, so... I'm going to bog off. Hang on. So today, one minute. Yeah, can I just save here? I can. So I'm working on a video essay segment uh, in the hopes that I can at least present something for people to watch because the channel is a bit starved of content at the moment. And um, yeah, I'm going to go crack on. So lots of work to do today. Uh, in the meantime, hang on. Let me hand you over to... Who's doing what? Bear with me. <clears throat> Who's playing? So ZF. Okay, I'm the only member member of ZF currently on, uh, and no one that I'm following is currently live. Okay, apologies. I'm gonna have to leave it there then. So um, thank you again, everyone. Have a lovely, uh, lovely evening, a uh, lovely evening, lovely afternoon, and hope to see you again. Yeah, hope to see you again later. Time to go and edit. Take care, and uh, yeah, have a good one. <laughs>